In the little border town of Sprague, in the southeast corner of Manitoba, basketball is like religion. Well, it gives us something to do, <laughs> uh, that's for sure. In many small towns, the rink may be the church, but here, the school gym is the cathedral. And that's what's great about a small school basketball is whether you're good or not good. I mean, you end up being good because you have to, you know, really work hard. On any given night, other than Wednesdays, because that was conflict with bingo, where there isn't basketball games going on in our facility. If you did well against Spray, then you knew you put a good effort on the court. Oh, man, it is really a way of life. It's just always been, it's just always been what we've done here. Tiana O'Connor is in grade 12 and is a starter on the Ross L. Grey Lady Raiders basketball team. She's warming up for the biggest game of the year, the Provincial Championships, which is about to start. Once again, the Lady Raiders are the little town that could take it all. Tiana has been with them for the past three seasons, and they won three straight titles. Plus, it's my grade 12 year, so it also be special to win. The rafters around her home court hang with dozens of past championship banners. Principal Jared Bain says it takes a lot of confidence in that. We're used to winning and we're used to being in provincials. I think it brings the community together and shows that just because we're a small town, we're in, like, we can still do stuff. Like they might think, well, the city teams have thousands of people, so they're great, or like bigger towns, but I think it still shows that we can do it, I guess. <laughs> Many reminders of all the great teams that have played on this court in years past. Though O'Connor needs no reminders. The trophies that match those banners going back two generations decorate her family's home. We didn't have a gym, but we were using the hall. The Centennial Hall was built in 67. So uh, my husband, he's the one that started the basketball. So what he did is uh, he hired this Mr. Edward Kerr. He was our first basketball coach. He only stayed one year, and we played in the hall. And of course, the ceiling was low, but it was long enough and wide enough. But you really had to have a good shot because otherwise, <laughs> but that's how it all started. Well, my parents put me in it because that's just kind of what I guess the family was into. She rebounds hard. She plays hard. Um, she, she's done some amazing things defensively that uh, when I run the score table, or help at the score table, I kind of look at that and say, wow, you know, that's the Avorka coming out here. Tiana's mom and aunties are all former basketball stars in the family. Penny Havorka Alcock is Tiana's aunt and also the coach of a rival team in Vita, Manitoba. My grade 12 year was in 84, but um, I started playing basketball in grade seven. Every athlete feels pressure, but for O'Connor, it's been gaining momentum for four decades. I think when the girls started playing it, it was something that brought everybody together and it brought your family together. Fans fill the stands for high school games, and this year is no exception. Don't jump on your shooters. The first game of the provincial tournament. The Lady Raiders will play one of their most competitive rivals. The Glenboro Panthers, a much older and much more physical team. The Dynasty faces a tilted court this year though. Four of the starters from the past championship team have graduated. Leaving Tiana with a new group of players trying to keep 
the winning tradition. In the opening game of the tournament, Sprague loses, putting the team on the consolation side of the tournament. Not the outcome the team or fans had hoped for. What are you doing? Now tomorrow. just didn't give you a break. Tiana O'Connor is a power forward and team captain for the Ross L. Gray Lady Raiders basketball team in Sprague, Manitoba. If you don't rebound the ball. She's been the team leader for years, team leader in points and rebounds and league MVP. She's a real quiet leader. Um, if, you, if you've always seen her play, she gets a little excited. After an 80 point win in the semifinal, the Lady Raiders make it to the Constellation Championship game. Jana is the rock we've had since grade nine. She's been just a constant power on the inside. If they don't stop her, they can't stop us. You're gonna get pushed today. You're gonna get hit today. Okay. Coach Daryl Peterson has coached Tiana since she was in junior high. No matter how the team finishes, it will be an emotional game for him and his power forward. I told the kids it is not easy to do what we're doing in provincials. I said it's you expect to win, but you don't, so you got to focus. Consolation's good, I told the kids. We work for consolation. That's our goal. Thinking about plays we should be doing, and I wonder if we can do it. And are we going to do it? Are we going to keep ourselves together? She drives me crazy sometimes because she's always laughing at practice, but when it's game time, she puts the old game face on. The Lady Raiders, one of the youngest teams competing in any provincial finals this year, win the Consolation Championship. Tiana is voted by the players as MVP of the tournament. It's a great pleasure in watching my team succeed and how much we worked to get to where we were. Well, some people struggle with the fact that they think their coach is just yelling at them and they struggle with that, but he's just trying to better you. He's just trying to better your game and get you to play as hard as you can and to the potential he knows you can. If you have any issues at home, he's always, his door is always open. You can always message him and he'll help you out. Daryl Peterson, he's the one that's been the longest as a coach. It's a pleasure to coach to him. In the end, the peace and quiet that the area offers is a big attraction for people. If you hear anything, it is probably the sound of basketball shoes squeaking on a hardwood floor. The early 60s, 65, 66, and that's when we came to Sprague and got the basketball started because we thought it would be a good team sport for our school. Right now, at the local museum, Doris is curating a 50 years of basketball exhibit because it's important for you to be in some kind of sports. It, it helps you grow. Okay, give it to Sydney and then she goes to go. Know something. For a little school, we do well, and that's our sport that we really do a lot, and I'm proud of all of my kids. <laughs> Over those 50 years, Sprague has become pretty famous for the competitive teams they have always had. I need to give you a big As Doris walks away, she may realize that her biggest contribution to basketball is her family.